Still ice and snow. But that's on the north side of the house. The field has melted and it's 54 degrees. So two nights ago it was seven degrees Fahrenheit and then last night it was 17 degrees out here in the field. And uh, we just had this wicked cold snap over the weekend and I've been watching this heat wave make its way across North America on YouTube and it's finally hit the East Coast. <laughs> Today we got a beautiful 54 degree day and it just, just feels like spring out here and it's only March, so I don't know, it's still, it's pretty weird, but it's, I'll take it, it's great. I'm gonna open everyone up today, I'm gonna check, and hopefully we still have a lot of living hives. A month and a half ago or so, we had all but one hive alive. So, you know, I'm also gonna drop sugar on everybody that needs it, and I'm also gonna put pollen out. I didn't put pollen in last year until almost the end of March. This year, it's going in right now, first of March. And if they need pollen, they're flying around. There's not gonna be any natural pollen here for over a month. So I'm gonna give them the substitute in the feeder, not in the patties, just in the dry in the feeder, and they can take what they want. I put, I put pollen in here last fall, thinking that they would pack their hives so this time of year, you know, when it's too cold to fly, they would already have pollen in there. So I have not been in here since last fall. Yep, we had some mice in here. Pretty simple. Five pounds of pollen going in. Let me get it, bees. Let's see how long it takes them to find that. Okay, inspections. We're gonna start with a, with a solid hive here. This is the Carniolans, and I'm gonna tell you right now, not every hive is gonna be alive today. So, just, just letting you know. Just went and got some smoke. They're super edgy. All right. Still sugar in there, very active. They're good for today. I'm gonna to come back here on another day when it's not as windy out here and uh, do go a little deeper, but they are, at least they got food for the next couple weeks. All right, Cornelia is definitely a hive I'm worried about. Uh, this is the hive that looked really bad about a month and a half ago. There was a lot of dead bees up in the sugar and a lot of poop in here. So there were a ton of bees down below, but I'm definitely worried about this hive. I don't see any activity out front. Doesn't look good. Well, there are bees in here. There's definitely a cluster of bees in here, but there's a lot of dead bees up top. But there, there's a hum in here. They're in the back. Very small cluster. They are hanging on. Not much I can do at this point. They got food. They're insulated. They just gotta hang on. All right, I knew that was gonna be weak. All right, Balboa, another, you know, that was not the strongest hive when I opened it a month ago. So we've had these, these really cold nights. So if the hive is weak, and if they're, you know, the population is down, it's a disadvantage. Oh, there's, there's activity right here, plenty of food. Balboa sounds okay. Ooh, hello. You're just fine. Small cluster, but solid. Lots of food. Watch out. Okay, Balboa's solid. It's very windy out here. I'm just, I'm a little nervous about opening up these hives, but I just gotta check. Okay, I'm gonna give the Russians their space. There's a lot of activity out in front of Russian hives, so they are good. 
Checking on Lucy. Sounds normal. Sugar right there. Good. Go find the pollen bees. Okay, our little hive that swarmed last fall. And then I condensed them down to a single deep. All right, this one does not sound good at all. No, no activity up top. Oh, I was wrong. Holy cow. There they are. I'm going to give them some more sugar. Not a huge cluster, but they're, they're vibrant. And they seem to have eaten up a lot of the sugar. And they're only a single deep, so that means they probably got through their stores and now they're up eating sugar. There's probably not going to be any natural pollen sources for at least a month. And there won't be any nectar for two months. This is just, you know, emergency food to get them through the next few weeks until I can start feeding them liquid. Okay, they're alive. Okay, lots of activity. Sugar right there. If I can see sugar right at the top in the middle, I know that they haven't come up and eaten all of the sugar out of the middle, which is where they're gonna usually eat from. So if I see sugar right underneath that hole, I know that they may have eaten one side, but there's probably sugar over here. But uh, if there's no sugar that I can see in this region, I'm gonna open them all the way up. Frankie, woo! It just sounds, it's loud. Frankie is loud. Looking good. I don't hear activity in here. Oh, they're okay. They're fine. They're all below the sugar. I think what it is is we've had such cold nights that they're all huddled and they haven't, you know, the, with the insulation on the outside, that keeps their heat in, but it also keeps a lot of the sunlight from warming the hive in the morning. They think it's a lot colder outside than it is because the sun hasn't hit them yet. This hive is actually also facing north, so it's the sun is not penetrating through the insulation. So they they just they don't know it's warm out. I think this year I might have to spin this hive around so that they're actually facing the sun. I just never did it because I didn't want to disturb them. All right, so we haven't lost any yet. So far, so far no one's dead. Cornelia is just hanging on, and that's from what I could see. They may they may be more down below. Okay, this is the hive when I checked uh, back in January. This hive had a ton of dead bees uh, piled up at the entrance. They looked okay from the top, but there was a lot of dead bees in there, so population may have just dropped, but you know, this was my, my other worry hive. Got a nice little cluster. I'm just gonna leave them alone. I'm gonna drop some more sugar in there though. They've eaten all the honey up there. I'm gonna give them a little more, a little more sugar in the front. This was a monster. Ow. I'm standing on the ice back here. It's it's frozen. <laughs> Behind the hives is ice. I just burned myself on my smoker. This was a monster hive a month ago. I'm worried that they're gonna run out of food because there's so many bees in here. It's actually quite a bit of sugar in here. I think they're good for another couple weeks. So I'm not gonna disturb them. Okay, this was the hive that I'm pretty sure was dead or almost dead when I checked them back in January. Whoa, 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 not empty at all. That's a living hive. I'm sorry, I was wrong. This is the living hive. I think one of these was near death.
All right, so that hive is not dead. The last video, one of these looked just about gone. Maybe it was this one. Oh, I remember. It was this one. This one was near death. I only saw a few bees in the back. So this was it. Yeah. So last, when I looked in here, there was a tiny cluster right there, and there's still a cluster right there. Totally full frame of honey right there. Tons of food in here. Don't see a queen. So, yeah, they huddled till the last moment there. Nope. Just, this is not a huge cluster of bees. I mean, for what was in there, this plus what was in the hive is not a lot of bees to keep warm for an entire winter. Okay, I'm gonna leave this here for other bees to, to rob. Just let bees go in and do their thing. Okay, checking the nukes. Popping. This side, I don't see activity, but there's a lot of sugar right there, so not much I can do either way. I'm just gonna leave them. So much activity. Okay, full of sugar, full of sugar. Nothing I can do there. They have plenty of food. There's a lot of activity in front. I'm just assuming they're not 100% dead. The only thing I can do right now in early March is give them food if they need it. There's, there's nothing else I can do. Tons of sugar. There is sugar if they need it. And again, plenty of sugar. They found the pollen. You made it through the winter, bees. You did it. Spring is coming. I promise. It is coming. A little windy. All right, it's definitely warm out, it's nice. It, it feels like spring, but it's March 2nd, and you know, we still got a ways to go. But we are pretty much exactly where we were when I checked them in January. There's only one definitely dead hive in there. The nukes, I, you know, I, I'm not really going deep into the nukes, but there's food in there and there's activity in and out of a lot of them. They're not, definitely not all dead. Um, some are alive. The one confirmed dead, didn't see any queen, but I left them open and the other bees are going to find them and they're going to rob that honey out if they need it. And today I left pollen and within an hour they were all over it. So they're going to have another couple good days here before the temperature drops again. But we have a little heat wave right now. So, you know, they're getting a taste of spring even though it's, it's a ways away. They have food, they have pollen, and we have a cluster in 11 out of 12? 12 out of 13? We're only missing one hive for sure, but there's a cluster in every hive. Also, Cornelia looks very weak in there. We may lose her before the summer hits, but you know, if we do, we do. It's just, it's how it is. But way, way good percentage right now of living hives at this point in the year. March is the toughest month for them, but they all have food, they all have pollen, and you know, we're counting the days now until we start getting this regularly. If you haven't checked out my build series, the barn build, uh, I've been on break from the barn build, the actual building, but I'm editing videos, uploading videos about building my new barn. I'm gonna start kicking into gear on actually building more of the barn uh, as these days warm up. It's just been brutally cold and there's no heat out there. The walls are thin, it's freezing cold. So I just have kind of taken a break on that, but check it out. The videos are going up still 
and we got a couple more videos until you guys are caught up to real time and that'll be roughly springtime. So thanks for watching. See you on the barn build.